Brace Beamer, your neighbor and your host. I was mighty pleased when they asked me to be in the Pontiac story. You see, I live around here myself. I know Pontiac, and I'm mighty proud of this place, too, because I know you Pontiac people. You are the real actors in this picture, and you, too, will feel proud of your city after you see this film. You know, it's really hard to see a place when you're right in the middle of it. A lot of things around us are so familiar, we, well, we kind of take them for granted. And when we really look at them, suddenly we're looking at something pretty wonderful. In this story of Pontiac, your city, you will see how the old lays a solid foundation for the new, how the past helps build the future. You will see how the promise of tomorrow is built on the progress of today. Here, your life, your homes, your work, your faith, and your playgrounds are translated into dynamic action. The Pontiac you have built, the city you are continually building and improving. Professor Beamer? Yes? I'm Mickey Burns. Well, come on in. Well, Mickey, what brings you calling up my way? Well, Professor, my teacher wants me to write a paper about how you make a city all the things that go into a city to make it work and grow. So I came to you. You're an expert on Pontiac, my teacher said. How do you make a city? Well, Mickey, that's some assignment. Maybe the best way to start would be to look at some of the ingredients that go to make up a city like Pontiac, Michigan. Yes, ingredients like this luxuriant rolling forest. Here is the beauty and natural abundance that once made this area an Indian paradise. The proudest Indian of them all gave our city its name, the famed Chief Pontiac. Sparkling waters and streams teem with lively fish. The land is rich and fertile. Crops are fruitful. Game aplenty, and the physical beauty that drew the Indian tribes to this favored land now offers the good life to all comers. For Pontiac, a major industrial city linked to the country by major highways, is located in the heart of this wonderland. Trains for freight and commuting to other cities are close at hand. Efficient buses. A modern new streamlined airport welcomes visitors to Pontiac from the skyways of the world with regular airline service. Say, Professor, are there any Indians left in Pontiac today? As a matter of fact, there are a lot of them, and some direct descendants of the great chief Pontiac, and many other kinds of people living here in perfect harmony. A pleasant feature of Pontiac living is the hundreds of lakeside homes where families grow in year-round comfort. Well-kept homes on tree-shaded avenues. And gracious mansions. Well-appointed apartments. Owners take pride in their well-manicured lawns. Suburban living is friendly. Over 80% of our city's families own their own homes. Yes, Pontiac's people are friendly. They work together and play together in harmony. There is a good neighbor feeling. Workers take pride in the products of their hands, pride in the homes where they live. All kinds of people joining to build a better city. 
must take a lot of jobs to keep so many thousands of people busy, Professor. A lot of jobs, Mickey. And that's why Pontiac is primarily known as an industrial city, the birthplace of a famous automobile. Here, the plants of large and small corporations turn out products that serve the nation and parts that go into the manufacture of automobiles and trucks. This internationally known factory works around the clock to meet the demands for its rubber products. Raw materials from all over the world are processed here. Miles of rubber compounds are shaped by complex machinery. These products are familiar to every car owner. This distinguished trademark represents America's leading manufacturer of automobile bodies. One of many plants where Pontiac's trained workers apply their specialized skills as products are formed and assembled. Here, passenger car bodies for the world's largest auto manufacturer are rolling off the production lines to keep a nation on the go, on wheels. Years of experience go into these bodies. Another important industry in Pontiac is the production of trucks and buses. Quality is checked and rechecked as every engine is actually test run before it passes critical inspection. These engines are the ultimate in advanced design, built for years of efficient service on the toughest of roads. Cabs with driver comfort. Trucks boasting of steering ease. Glamorous air-conditioned buses await delivery to the nation's carriers, while a bicycle still proves useful in a plant covering acres of land. Pontiac's industry is diversified. In this modern plant, oil seals are manufactured for use in many types of products. Drawing again on the technical know-how and experience that is one of our city's most basic resources. Named after the great Indian chief, fine automobiles produced here carry our name around the world. The lobby itself is a showplace. Here, the American genius for mass production builds automobiles that set a standard for the industry. Giant machines fed by ample supplies of industrial power and operated by men with years of technical experience turn out a product whose name means quality and performance everywhere. Ladies handle intricate tasks. Plenty of power comes next. Colors to dazzle, dozens of body styles, inspected and tested at every stage. A final polish, and these beauties are on their way to their proud owners. That work bit is okay for you grown-ups, but I'm still going to school. That's good. A fine education will prepare you for being a better grown-up. And Pontiac has some of the finest schools in our nation. Here, nothing is spared to provide the very best in schools at all levels, beginning with superior modern buildings boasting of low-cost construction, where our children learn to live together as good, useful citizens. Schools where liberal education begins through attention to fundamentals by competent instructors, using the latest educational methods. The artistic side is not slighted, as every individual's creative ability is stimulated and expressed in many forms. Under expert supervision, 
in well-equipped studios to develop well-rounded personalities. Our high schools, too, are unsurpassed. Outstanding institutions where our youth come to grips with basics and with culture preparing them for college and the business world. Master skills needed by every adult citizen. In these well-equipped shops, our students acquire practical skills they can apply to useful occupations on graduation. Ultra-modern methods streamline teaching of basics, like rapid and lucid reading, an up-to-date foreign language laboratory, practical business training, this bright, spacious cafeteria provides wholesome nourishment and doubles as a study hall between mealtimes. This driver training course is a model imitated by many others. Gleaming models of our fine automobiles are used to teach safety and courtesy on the highways. The girls enjoy their homemaking courses. Lasting friendships are made here. Pontiac students enjoy physical training that produces fine athletes like these basketballers, develops healthy bodies, team spirit, the ability to play and work together in a friendly way toward common goals. Athletics that implant the American competitive spirit, the will to win that makes this nation great. And now in the Pontiac area, a major university, well staffed, offers liberal education to all who seek it. Okay, I guess. But I like Sunday. That's when our family goes to church. Well, here free people can worship God as they please, Mickey. Because there are over 100 churches of all denominations in Pontiac. Each faith differing in formal doctrine and details of architecture, vestments, and ritual. Differing in details. But all faiths alike in seeking guidance from the one God whom we all worship, young and old, each in his own way, in a place of his own choosing. Gee, Professor, I didn't know there were so many beautiful things right here in Pontiac. Yes, there's plenty of culture here to please every artistic and musical interest. Artistic expression in three dimensions. Art exhibits. Instrumental music. Primitive art, landscape painting, 
Yes, the cultural level is high, and expression is rich and varied. My mom says it's fun to shop here. Boy, I wish she'd raise my allowance. I guess most of us men leave the shopping to the women, Mickey. Here they can choose from an unlimited variety of stores and merchandise. For Pontiac has stores galore and nearby shopping centers. Sound financial institutions to support business and industry and encourage thrift. well-stocked stores of all types and sizes. Drive-in convenience. Stores conveniently open when people are free to shop. I was wondering, Professor, who runs this city anyway? Do we have a government just like the United States? Well, we have an outstanding city government in Pontiac, Mickey. And the men and women we elect to run our city have a big responsibility. They see that all departments function smoothly and are financially sound. Buildings are the symbol of our city government. Ours have beauty, simplicity, and practical design. These are the tangible evidence of government in our rising civic center. Inside, we learn that more than buildings, government is people, like us, with jobs vital to our existence. We have a commission manager form of government with a long history of efficient administration. Here is one of their regular weekly sessions, always open to the public. The commissioners appoint a city manager, the chief executive officer, and from their own ranks, a mayor and a mayor pro tem. Let's visit a staff meeting in the city manager's office. These are the administrative heads that make our city run smoothly. Their cooperative labors oil the cogs of civic progress, and our tax dollars are put to work, like this. Our modern water system, an up-to-date sewage disposal plant, ready police department, well-equipped fire department, upgrading of all streets, courts to protect us all. Our city has the sound philosophy that a pay-as-we-go policy makes for sound progress. Don't forget the hospitals, Professor. My pal Johnny broke his leg the other day, and he said the doctors treated him great. Well, keeping all our citizens well takes many fine doctors, nurses, and modern medical equipment. Behind the imposing facade of this public hospital are the latest medical techniques providing intensive care for special cases. Competent surgery when needed. New types of equipment like this cobalt unit. A most important role is played by Pontiac's private hospital facilities too. Don't forget, Mickey, behind the scenes, our hospitals, factories, stores, and homes all need the constant ready help of electricity, gas, water, and telephones. Pontiac's utilities serve us day and night. This index lists essential information about every consumer of power for quick, efficient service. Powerful apparatus supplies our needs. New installations as required to meet the demands of industry or the public. And telephones operated by progressive management, quick to adopt the latest scientific innovations for improved communications. Well, 
with all these thousands of people, you must be tough to find out what's going on in Pontiac and everywhere. Oh, on the contrary, no, Mickey. That newspaper you find on your porch every day has a big staff telling the Pontiac story. And don't forget radio flashing news instantly to listeners far and wide. This young businessman delivers our city's award-winning newspaper. An alert, well-informed reporting and editorial staff. Modern color printing services. Brings us the news in accurate detail. While our radio station, also an award winner, sends fast on-the-spot reports of events as they happen. We all pitch in together here to help one another. The United Fund, for instance, to help people in trouble. And the service clubs are always working for a better city. Our United Fund, combining several charities and community services in one, enables us to perform many services throughout the year by a single contribution. Families are counseled and aided by family services, or cared for by a visiting nurse. Pontiac's many loyal service clubs are ever active in the forefront of the fight for a better Pontiac. They take on a host of civic duties. Their only reward, the deep inner satisfaction of helping others. Thanks a lot, Professor. I guess it's time for me to go play now. And you've got a marvelous place to play, Mickey, for Pontiac is the center of Michigan's playground. A playland second to none, where people in all income brackets can enjoy swimming in our hundreds of lakes. Superb fishing, boating, Skin diving, golf, and this one-time Indian paradise is still a hunter's delight. of sports, both indoor and outdoor, are popular here. And the Pontiac area has become the ski capital of the Midwest, a wonderful place for young and old to live the full, rich life of excitement or relaxation. You see what a lot of things it takes to make a city, Mickey? Really important things. This is our city. The Pontiac we have built with the toil of our hands through planning, organization, and hard work. A city teeming with productive industry. Yes, the wheels of progress are turning in Pontiac, sparked by teamwork in a favorable industrial atmosphere. Sound management. An orderly city where people work hard and prepare for a bright future. Generous people who support noble causes. Pontiac, where people play as hard as they work. 
a city of friendly neighborhoods where people build on a solid tradition of achievement. Happy people moving confidently forward, expanding for the future layout of the new Pontiac, the Pontiac of tomorrow. This is Pontiac, a growing industrial giant Pontiac, a wonderful place to work and live, a natural playground, a city growing through planning and teamwork. This is the Pontiac story of progress today and promise for the future. <laughs>